Hi, my name is Paul Montoya. Welcome to this video. Uh, this video was in the response of some questions that was given uh, to my WhatsApp by a former student. That the, uh, the question was, how much does a groundwater model cost, and how long does it take? Okay. So there are some issues with groundwater modeling on a commercial scale, and some of these issues are the quality, the stakeholder participation, and as well how, which is the groundwater model price, and which is the time frame for to develop a groundwater model. Um, we have, I mean, over the past articles we have giving our opinion about some risking factors that affect the groundwater quality. I will mention this just briefly on this article because this is not the main purpose of the article. I mean, we are going to talk about cost, but there are some risk factors on a general perspective of how groundwater models are being conducted, okay? First is that people, clients, assume that the model is a, straight, is a straightforward process. It's like where you put things on your washing machine, you put the, your clothes, you put the water, you put the detergent, and after 60 minutes you get your wash, your clothes washed, okay? And they tend to confuse that the groundwater modeling is something similar to GIS, okay? So this is a risk factor when we and make our groundwater models because the client is thinking that you will get the model soon, okay? The other, um, and this maybe comes from the reviewers and the governmental uh, officials that they do not believe in model. I mean, based on many factors, people do not believe in models, okay? Um, they say that they believe in models, they say that they need models, but actually they do not believe, okay? This is my opinion, okay? Um, clients want the best answers with few data. This is another topic that arises when we deal with groundwater model. Okay, they have few data and they want every answer possible, uh, but somehow they put a lot of faith in the model, but some Sometimes this faith is not is not necessary. I mean, you need facts. You don't need faith. Okay. Um, the clients want the result tomorrow, and some clients want the result free. Okay. They don't want to pay. Um, and overall, the and based on our experience, um, ninety percent of the cases we have crappy review process, crappy observations, and crappy new version of the model, okay? So actually, and to be true, to be sincere with you, we are far from being, from develop groundwater models that can be the key for a sustainable, um, sustainable management of our groundwater resources. Okay, great. Okay, so let's go to the cost. Okay, um, the groundwater model cost depends on your country and your salary expectations, okay? And also depends on your expertise, okay? If you are working for a big firm, your cost um, will reflect the office, it will reflect the brand, will reflect the marketing and the participation in events and so on. If you are an independent consultant, your fees will be lower, but this is one of the few aspects that determine the cost, okay? Most important, and something that is to remember, that is price is quality, okay? Remember, and repeat after me, price is quality. The more you pay for a competent groundwater modeler, the best predictions that you will get. If by somehow you want to save, uh, if you want to save on your hydrogeological evaluation, why you have to, to save on, on the groundwater model, or the groundwater modeling process, since this is the key factor where you are going to get most of your conclusions, predictions, and recommendations. I mean, it will be a great uh, question just to make some savings. For example, of instead of drilling uh, one piezometer, uh, drilling one piezometer less, 
or paving into some base, uh, some chemical component, uh, unrelevant chemical components. Okay. Um, okay. So you got what is your expected, what is your expected mon monthly income, and then you have to make your calculation to to have the best assessment of how much it will take you to complete the six models of groundwater um, of groundwater elaboration that are data gathering, data analysis, model construction, model calibration, simulation, and report. Okay, those are the six phases, and those phases cannot be uh, um, you cannot omit any of those six phases, and then you have to provide the best evaluation possible of how of how much time and as well, how much will you charge for each of them? Okay. Um, there are there are some things that that is finally there are some things that are important to to take into account, um, and this come from our experience. That is never trust that the data will come ready. Okay, never trust that the that the client say, okay, I will give you the data and then you just put the data into your model and then you will get it faster. Never, okay, never, never is never, okay? Always the data needs treatment, okay? Always the data. Then, we should stop the irresponsible entrepreneurship, okay? Why, what is the, inter why, what is the inter irresponsible? Um, imagine, I got my master degree, or I got my PhD. I was doing, um, um, contaminant remediation topics on my postgraduate degree. Then I got a contract on regional modeling. Maybe my experience in regional modeling are not the base. Okay, maybe are not. Um, and my and then I have a bright future on numerical modeling. But maybe in that in that stage I'm not the best uh, um, modeler for that topic. But somehow, in order to get, in order to get the the contract, I bid low. Okay, my fees, I short my fees just to get the contract. But if you are going to do that, you will face and then you will risk that the project will take longer as you have expected, and as well, okay, you will and uh, you will start to lose money because. You cannot finish with this with that project, and you cannot take new projects because uh, you are still dealing with the with the project where you are on site committed to, okay? And this also affects the model quality as well. So just be responsible. I, we know that everybody wants to model everything that you can wants to have. You want to have the majority of clients, and then you want to. You want experience in every continent or in fractal rock, quaternary, uh, karstic, uh, multi-phase, three-phase, four-phase, and wh whatever you, <laughs> whatever you are in mind. We know that, okay? But uh, be responsible, and if it's it's like the COVID treatment. If everybody is responsible, there will be no COVID. Yeah, it's the same with uh, with that. If everybody is responsible with the cost assessment we will have better income for the groundwater modelers and as well better groundwater modelers well better groundwater models okay in my experience uh, i have never delivered a model in less than six weeks i mean a, a, the model that completes the six phases so data gathering data analysis model construction model calibration simulation and report won't be finished in my experience, I, I've been 15 years in this in this business. I never delivered that in less than six weeks, okay? And even in six weeks, in less than two months, yeah, it could be. Okay, so that's that. I mean, you are the main. You are not the main stakeholder. Never a groundwater modeler is a stakeholder, but you are the main changing engines in this. Um, in on this uh, part of the evaluation of our groundwater resources. We wish you the best luck and then we are always in the search of new tools that could 
improve the capacity of the groundwater modeler. Um, really thank you for watching this this video and really thank you for <laughs> for keeping up to the end. Um, yes, uh, we have a lot of courses in if in case you are interested, we have a lot of courses on groundwater modeling in our platform elearning.hatarilabs.com and how to see in comment tutorials in the comment tutorials you are not going to see my face <laughs> I say you bye bye bye